Another great story. Mm. Uh, I, I gotta, have we got uh, Martine? OK, let's have a look at Martine Croxall. She's a BBC right. newsreader. Uh, this is uh, uh, when uh, she uh, got in trouble. She was suspended for this, oh, laughing yeah. about Boris Johnson during a news bulletin. Take it away. Well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Hello and welcome to our look ahead to what the papers will be bringing us tomorrow. Am I allowed to be this gleeful? Well, I am. Uh, oh, that's there's BBC impartiality oh, for you. Not but at all biased. Apparently, they got rid of Martine Croxall, not because she's that totally was, impartial, is, yeah. but because she's old and female. That's yeah, a, well, that's she's position. now uh, the story. So that moment there with the Boris Johnson, that was all about his downfall, the party gate and everything. So she uh, was revelling in that and got suspended, but quite rightly, because that was a disgraceful piece of prejudiced journalism, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, this is separate. She is one of a bunch of uh, female news presenters uh, who didn't quite make the cut because they merged uh, BBC News Channel with the BBC, BBC News World. operation and a number of news presenters became extraneous to requirements. She was one of them. Now, they held, they held on to their jobs but were given much more minor roles. In essence, about seven of them, including Martine Croxall, have been sitting around doing nothing since last March. Yeah, on so, full so for far more than a year, 12, 14 months, sitting around doing nothing on their very handsome salaries. Uh, and Martine Croxall has now sued the BBC, her employer since 1991, uh, for uh, age and sex discrimination. Uh, and now this means that there's so many people on the BBC payroll that don't go to work. I know. Uh, you know, of course, Hugh Edwards. Maybe I've secretly got an unpaid job at the BBC and I don't realise yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might ask them when my pay Do we packet work is. For the BBC? I'm yeah, not I haven't sure. come in. I, you know, I worked in the BBC back in 2009. Mm. It was, and uh, maybe I should write to them and say, "Where's my last sort of 16 years worth of pay?" Because Absolutely. I've been, you know, Absolutely. well, you've heard of not work... going into work. So look, you've heard of working from home. Well, at the BBC, they have a different system, not working at all, uh, but you still get full pay. Anyway, great, she's she's launched this interesting action. Uh, we'll be back with that later on on Crosstalk <laughs> as well. Uh, now we're going to go back to our friend. Uh, the uh, Mark Menzies. MP for Fylde in oh, Lancashire, Mark God. Menzies. Uh, there are now uh, serious calls uh, for the police to launch an investigation. The fuzz have got to look into this. Of course they have. It was, what happened what? is he, he well, just to reiterate, you remember, of course, yesterday, big story, that he, he phoned this... A uh, poor old lady who was one of his campaign managers. Turns out she was the town mayor. She's the town mayor. Her name is Shirley Green. At 3.15 in the morning saying, I need £5,000. That went up to 6500 in the end. Uh, to get me out of this flat, I'm locked in here by bad people. Anyway, she got the money for him. That was... But she got paid back by Tory party funds. Yeah. And then subsequent to that, uh, he took £14,000. Mark Menzies took £14,000 for medical uh, expenses that he needed. That hasn't been paid back either. So this is sounding seriously like uh, there's a case for misappropriation of party funds. Yeah. Now, it's all very well for the Tories to investigate. They say they've been investigating this uh, for three, oh, three yeah, weeks. They have, haven't so they? the big question of the Tories Three is, months, they thought. Uh, it yeah, was three months. Something. Well, uh, Jan January is when this incident apparently happened. So w if they're investigating it, why have they not called the police yeah. in? Because these are p uh, yeah. alleged criminal offences. But this guy, ten years ago, uh, got stung by the mirror for paying a Brazilian vent boy who uh, also to add an even more spice to the story, mm. was here illegally and was supposed to be being deported. He was paying this Brazilian rent boy for access to methadone, which is a, mm. a, a, an illegal drug uh, used in certain types of... Uh, chemsex, basically. Chemsex, Ke well, chemsex, yeah. chemsex. Um, So, you know, this guy has clearly been on the wrong side of the law a lot. Well, alleged, he likes allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. He seems to like a good scrape, allegedly, doesn't he? Allegedly, he... And the next thing... We have to stress it. He, sa he says he's done nothing wrong. He do you know what I reckon's going to happen to Mark Menzies? I reckon he's going to do a Hugh Edwards. I think he's going to claim mental health problems. Oh, uh, well, maybe yeah. we, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, he, I he, 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 he denies <laughs> all wrongdoing, so that case continues. Now, 
Uh, let's talk about Keir Starmer and Angela Rayner. Here now, they are. I happen to be... We would have showed you this film, but as I say, techno technological problems are besetting us today. Uh, but Keir Starmer, I watched Channel 4 News last night. Why I know, I know, I know. I thought you were one of I'm us, I'm a glutton for punishment. I thought you were one of us. Uh, lefties. All comes uh, out, doesn't yeah. it, on the last day. If you're you're going to be wearing a Socialist Workers' Party rosette by the time we get onto a If you've ever oh. wondered what The Guardian would look like if it was on telly, tune into Channel 4 News. Uh, mm. But anyway, Keir Starmer, was being in interviewed by the redoubtable uh, political editor, Gary Gibbons. I like Gary Gibbons. Uh, on this dock, so Keir's wearing his sort of tough guy, high-vis jacket and hard hat and all that. And uh, basically, Gary uh, Gibbons, uh, brilliantly actually, just said, well, what, what, you know, with Angela Rayner, you know, she says she's got this document, which mm. is a tax advice from an official law, legal and uh, tax expert, uh, which told her she's doing nothing wrong, this will exonerate her. That's what Angela Rayner said. Uh, so Gary Gibbs said, well, wh wh why, why haven't you looked at that? She goes, what people want to know is what are we going to do about the health? So, oh, so Ga Ga Gary Gibbs said. So that Gary Gibbs invasion. said. Gary Gibbs said. No, no, I didn't ask you that. I said, yeah. why have you not looked at it? Uh, Angela Rayner. Huh? Angela Rayner has is doing a fantastic job for the party. I'm confident she will be. Why no, have you I not looked at the document? I didn't ask you that, Keir. And it went on about ten times. It was eva it was almost as bad as that what? Jeremy Paxman and Michael I'd Howard have, interview. I'd have loved it if Gary Gibbs lost his temper and had pushed him into the water. And yeah. the last thing you saw of Keir Starmer is his new fancy yeah. glasses floating to the top yeah. with a high jacket. I mean, Keir, Keir, you're not conning anyone this with this act. This is why you have not looked at Angela Rayner's evidence that she says will exonerate her because you want plausible deniability. You want to yeah. be able to say, if she's found guilty, she denies all yeah. wrongdoing, of course, if she's found guilty of tax evasion, capital and uh, 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 electoral law fraud, uh, then uh, Keir will be able to say, well, don't, I didn't know. I didn't I know. know. I didn't see it. Apparently, though, she's going to now claim it's suggested. Oh, yeah. They say you didn't pay capital gains tax, you should have done, but she, she built a new kitchen, kitchen so it offset it. They there you go. She put a kitchen into this put house. A kitchen in that there. may well be her defence. Somehow or other, that apparently home improvements can uh, exonerate you from the uh, uh, compulsory uh, payment of uh, uh, capital gains. So there you go. There you go. Uh, more of that later. Uh, Kemi Badenoch has mm. cl claims uh, has slammed speech. claims that Britain is only wealthy because of colonialism and white privilege. And the business secretary, Kemi, has also said uh, she's rejected the idea of mandatory ethnicity mandatory? quotas in the city. Mandatory, yeah. surely. But, but spent too long in America, didn't uh, you? Uh, but no, what she's saying is quite important, because she said instead of bashing the West and saying, oh, it's all ill-gotten gains and oppression of other people that made you wealthy, it wasn't. And actually, we need to look at this so other countries can trace what happened that made the West so wealthy and do the same. And do you know what? I mean, Kemi speaks a lot of sense, but looking into statistics this morning when I was sitting on the underground, Friday, I could get a seat, thank you, um, when it comes to slavery, which is the constant thing we're battered around the head for, the UK, Britain, was the very first country in the world to abolish slavery, right? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Then, enforcing this cost, wait for this, 40% of the entire government budget was spent on trying to stop slavery from taking place. The UK Navy lost thousands of officers patrolling the seas, intercepting slave ships. For every nine slaves that were released, a UK naval officer yeah. died. Instead of banging on about we once did slavery, why don't we bang on about the fact that we, our little nation, stopped it? At great cost to our taxpayers back then, yeah. at great cost to the lives of the Royal Navy. Something like 30... And that is to be By the way, we, we abolished slavery about 30 years before America, and we have actually... We were the abolished, first in We the abolished world. slavery before anyone else, yes. so it's ridiculous. Uh, Britain is not wealthy uh, because mm. of white privilege and slavery. It's, it's wealthy because we're an innovatory nation, a uh, brilliant nation throughout yeah, the years. Got stuff uh, done. And have led the world. That's why we had a big empire, uh, because we were better than everyone else. That's the way it goes, yeah, I'm afraid.